Well, good morning, everyone, and thanks again for joining me here as we read through Scripture together. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey as we've gone through several books of the Bible here, and currently we're going through the book of Romans. Uh, this morning we will be reading Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. And thus far, uh, we've read and considered many glorious truths, indeed truths about the just living by faith, um, even as Paul is really laying out the truth and the message of the gospel here. And um, in chapter 3, he spoke and uh, defended God's judgment, um, and he spoke about all having sinned. Um, he laid out details about what's true about the heart of the depraved sinner, those who are apart from God. And he also then re-emphasized that um, we are not justified by the law or by the works of the law. Um, the law uh, gives us the knowledge of sin, but uh, we are really truly justified by faith in Jesus Christ. And so there is no boasting that we can do um, in our own works, or our own efforts, or our own accomplishments. Um, indeed, um, no. Uh, that is not anything that we can do. If we boast, uh, Scripture teaches us, we boast in Christ. Now, as we go into chapter 4, uh, Paul is going to give some examples uh, that the people would have been very familiar with, in particular regarding Abraham and also David, and uh, talking about how they were justified by faith. And he'll also be speaking to other things as well. But let's dive in and let's uh, feed upon the very word of God this morning. What then shall we say that Abraham our father has found according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now to him who works, the wages are not counted as grace, but as debt. But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. Just as David also describes the blessedness of the man to whom God imputes righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. Does this blessedness then come upon the circumcised only, or upon the uncircumcised also? For we say that faith was accounted to Abraham for righteousness. How then was it accounted? While he was circumcised or uncircumcised? Not while circumcised, but while uncircumcised. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had while still uncircumcised, that he might be the father of all those who believe, though they are uncircumcised, that righteousness might be imputed to them also, and the father of circumcision to those who not only are of the circumcision, but who also walk in the steps of the faith which our father Abraham had while still uncircumcised. For the promise that he would be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if those who are of the law are heirs, faith is made void and the promise made of no effect because the law brings about wrath. For where there is no law, there is no transgression. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations, in the presence of him whom he believed. God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did, who's, who contrary to hope 
in hope, believed, so that he became the father of many nations, according to what was spoken. So shall your descendants be. And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God and being fully convinced that what he had promised he was also able to perform. And therefore, it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, but also for us. It shall be imputed to us who believe in him who raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification. Amen and amen. Such wonderful truths about our justification by faith alone in Christ alone. And I uh, hope you're encouraged by these very words as Paul is expounding these truths. Um, I pray that you'll continue with me as we continue to read through what Romans chapter 5 next time. Take care. God bless you and God bless your day. Bye-bye.